Our program is about music and art. We call it Pictures at an Exhibition because the great work of Mussorgsky, originally for solo piano, now famously for orchestra, orchestrated by Maurice Ravel, is, is one of our great orchestral showpieces. The orchestra sounds fantastic playing it. Audiences love it. It's very visual musical writing. So that's a beautiful centerpiece for the idea. We have two important Massachusetts museums that are involved in the evening. The Norman Rockwell Museum with Stella Sung's piece that goes with American Chronicles and four pieces of music uh, that are all about the collection in the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. ties are, are rich and they, I think, will in inspire people in a beautiful way to hear the connection that can be made between beautiful paintings and music inspired by them that can animate them and, and give them life in the present moment. There's a sense of nobility and openness and warmth and sincerity that's the same as what I experience in Rockwell's paintings. You know, they just. I, I'm not a connoisseur, but I've always had a special place in my heart for his work. Um, just, it feels good to look at it, and it feels true. Everything feels sincere when you look at the emotions in a Rockwell painting. You know, my, my mom was telling me the other day, she grew up on a farm and she remembers running out to the mailbox when the Saturday Evening Post came. They, you know, she and her brother and sister could not wait to see that Norman Rockwell cover every week. So anyway, it's just a very wholesome feeling to both the music and the, and the art. Hi, my name's Bob Schultz. I'm the principal percussionist with the Boston Landmarks Orchestra. This group's been going since 2000, first with Charles Ansbacher, now with Christopher Wilkins. We play every Wednesday at the Hatch Shell through the summer. So my job is to show you through the percussion section. We have a lot of cool things on this concert, starting with this big guy. This is the low church bell for the Great Gate of Kiev in Mussorgsky's pictures at an exhibition. A little tam-tam. That's a wonderful moment. Percussion's full of little toys. We've got some sleigh bells, a machine to play the triangle, a wood block, this little guy. That's used in the Norman Rockwell uh, movement known as checkers, which is a kind of circus theme. You'll hear some more stuff at the end. Some standard instruments, the snare drum and a xylophone. Got to have symbols. We call these the crash symbols. And then we have any number of suspended symbols. Slapstick. Maracas. Cowbell and a clave. Here's another station with a lot of uh, odds and ends, a couple of uh, Turkish finger symbols tambourine, a fire bell, hi-hats. So lots of sound effects. Bass drum, got to have that. And we come over here, and we've got four kettle drums, or timpani. are the only drums in the orchestra that are tuned to a specific pitch and there's usually one player dedicated to being the timpanist and that's our colleague Jeff Fisher. And over here are some additional instruments. We've got in percussion we have pitched instruments and unpitched instruments and this is a set of bells called the glockenspiel and this is a pitched instrument.
And you might think of these pipes as a larger version of the glockenspiel. Instead of a small set of bells, this is a large set of bells. And back to that movement uh, in the Norman Rockwell, the checkers movement, it's my job to do all the extra stuff that the other players couldn't get to. So I've got a klaxon. <laughs> we needed a car horn. The best I could come up with was this compressed air bicycle horn. And a bird whistle. Just got my face wet. And then a quick, I had to make this in my basement, a quick little... Uh, try whistle thing that I can do a cuckoo slide whistle and the police whistle and why don't we end with a nice glorious crash enjoy the show